And only on 13 Action News, a valley man is struggling to survive after more than 12 hours on the side of the road. If they would have just stopped. Right now, a valley man is fighting for his life after something goes terribly wrong on his way home from work, leaving him unconscious on the side of the road for 13 hours. 13 hours. I don't know that uh, my grandbabies will ever get their, baby, their grandpa back. Now he's in a coma fighting for his life as his family wonders if he'll ever recover. 13 Action News reporter Gina Lazara is live at Spring Valley Hospital where this man is currently fighting to survive Gina. Leslie, this is what Doug Pyle looks like right now. He's been in a coma for eight days. His family says they're just holding on to hope. It was a normal Monday evening. Doug Pyle was on his way home from work when all of a sudden he felt a medical issue coming on, prompting him to pull over to the emergency lane on the 215. Put his truck in park so he didn't put everybody else in danger. Car still running, AC blasting, flashers on. He sat there on the side of that freeway for 13 hours. Nobody helped him. Nobody stopped for him. Doug Pyle quickly faded into a state of unconsciousness. And it's ridiculous. As Doug is in a coma on the side of the highway, his wife Bonnie starts to panic. He never made it home from work. He was like, okay, love you. Have a good day. I'll see you when I get home. And I said, love you too. And that was the last words we said to each other. The next morning, his son-in-law decided to retrace Doug's steps. Around 7.30 a.m., he spotted his truck. Start pounding on the window. Not a single person stopped to ask if there was a problem. Doug had suffered a cerebral hemorrhage, leaving him unconscious, but still sitting upright in his seat. His hand position, he was reaching for his phone. Now he remains in the hospital unresponsive, fighting for his life. I'll hold out until they tell me that there's no more hope. 